All right, guys, so this project coming up here will be a master bathroom renovation. A lot of big things, big changes in this whole bathroom setup. Uh, there's a master walk-in closet right here. This is the entrance to the bathroom. So what we're gonna do is remove some walls between these two, close up this door. Later, there'll be a vanity in front of this on the inside of there. So we're gonna close this door off as the entrance to the bathroom. We're gonna make this the entrance flip the hinges on this door so that the door swings over that way you'll continue on into here into the main part first part of the bathroom uh, still have plans uh, in the works for what we'll actually do in this area maybe a be uh, bench of some sort of seating and a little bit of storage clean it up this was the old master closet that we've now relocated into a another bedroom made a big walk-in closet in there so this is no longer needed uh, so what we're going to do is eventually you'll walk in here and you'll swing and enter the bathroom this, this way. This, these two walls right here will be completely gone and this will be your main door. So let's go into the bathroom area. So this is the existing entrance to the bathroom and the setup here. It's a very long bathroom. Uh, there's a lot of space over here that is basically useless so we came up with this idea of how can we move things around to to make this you know a true master bath make it super modern really nice uh all of this stuff is coming out um this vanity will be in front of this door now a new vanity i should say uh everything's getting shifted over the toilet is going to be relocated over to about here uh, the shower will be removed and this entire shower will be moved out. This small wall will probably move out here another uh, two or three feet. And what you'll have is a freestanding soaking tub inside of a walk-in shower. Double shower heads plus a ceiling shower uh, shower head. It, it'll be completely obviously different than what it is now. Uh, stay tuned. All right, so we have at this point removed the drywall from these two walls. Uh, next, we're going to be removing these studs. Things have opened up a lot. Uh, this is definitely going to give us a way more open look. Let me step back here. So this was, as we said before, the master closet. Uh, we're going to knock these studs out and move on to the next. Okay, so the wall is now gone completely. It really opened things up in here. Uh, this is really coming out nice. We could start to see now that we've gotten this opened up, sort of what the plan will be here. This door, existing entrance to the bathroom, is going to be drywalled over. Take that out of there. We're actually going to swap these doors. This one opens the correct way that we're going to want it to. Before this swung open over to here, uh, and your closet area was in here. Now we want the door to swing open this way so that it's ease of access into the bathroom and doesn't feel like you're walking around the door itself. So that door we're gonna remove, uh, actually reuse it in, a, in the basement for a remodel we're gonna be doing down there. And we'll move this door over here to get the correct swing. We'll uh, keep going ahead here. We're gonna start removing everything out of the bathroom. Pull this vanity out of here, remove that sectional wall between the current toilet and vanity that's really going to open things up even more we're going to have to cut that existing shower out into a couple pieces to be able to get it out of here and we will keep moving along okay so we've gone ahead and tore out all the carpet that was here previously uh, the foam pad underneath pulled up all the staples just get a nice clean area to work in we also ended up removing both of these doors, as we said previously, and this one was over there before. It gave us the correct opening swing that we need, and all we did was pull these out and install the new door, or the old door, I should say, in the same spot as the original one. So that right now, it's a setup to be able to start tearing the rest of this stuff out. This vanity will eventually go in front of this door here. So we're going to need to do a lot of plumbing, tear a lot of drywall off there to get to all the plumbing, expose that. 
tie everything in correctly, get it tied up to the vents, and that is it. All right, so we went and pulled out this separating wall that used to be between the toilet and the vanity. That'll open up a lot more space for us. Uh, next, we're gonna be cutting this shower unit out of here. Uh, easiest way to do this is score along with a razor blade to find where this flange is for the original shower. Cut around all the way. Should be able to get this thing out of here. We're still gonna have to cut it into pieces because it's too large to get out of here and down the stairs uh, to scrap this. So we'll just be cutting it up with a sawzall and pull this whole thing out of here to expose the original framing. Okay, so at this point we have everything gutted. We've pulled out the flooring, the linoleum, the paneling that was under that. We hammered down all the staples here. Pulled all the drywall off that we need. We could have done a, some patching work around this area where the door is getting filled, but it made more sense to just peel off the rest of the drywall that was there. Instead of patching in, we're just gonna do two new pieces of uh, drywall right there. All of this is gonna be done in concrete board back here. But before we get to that, what we're gonna do is try and assess what we have for the existing plumbing here. Once we get the shower valves, the tub valve, uh, we mark out where our vanity's going, our toilet's going. We're gonna start mounting shower valves and toilet flanges and everything we need. And we're gonna tie into the existing copper here and convert what we can over to PEX. So all the new stuff will be tied in with uh, PEX tubing. We'll probably move on after that to getting the drains ready in the floor, start prepping the areas where we need to tie into the freestanding tub in the back our, and our new toilet location as well as extend this pipe, drain pipe over here to the new vanity location. Along with the plumbing changes, we are of course gonna to need to do some electrical work as well. We're gonna be doing some recessed lighting, one above the tub area, one above the vanity, and we're gonna be relocating this existing light to a more centered area in the ceiling there and also replacing that with a recess light. The existing wiring currently is on the outside of the room. So you have to turn the switch on from the outside of the bathroom. We're gonna relocate that to the inner side, to make it more typical situation. Uh, so we'll do some wiring changes. We're gonna get up into the attic, run a little bit of wiring up there down to the new light locations and just sort of clean up uh, what, what we can while the walls are open. In addition to that, we're going to be actually adding a small TV in front of where the tub will be located, right in this exterior wall here. So there's an outlet right down here for the other bedroom in this house. So we're going to jump her off that and just run up another outlet right there. GFI protected, of course, just because it's right above the tub. This light right here uh, will be relocated further back. And in the space of that, that's a combination fan and light. We're going to replace that with a fan only uh works automatically when moisture and that's it for now.